Hola and welcome to today's Pro Spanish lesson. We're going to start off with part of a phrase and we're going to build up from that throughout the lesson. So we're going to look at hablar de eso. Hablar de eso. And hablar de eso means to talk about that. To talk about that. So hablar blah 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 to talk hablar to talk or to speak de is of to speak of that but in english we would say to speak about that spanish say to talk of something we say to talk about something and eso is that so hablar de eso is to talk about that. Hablar de eso. Let's put on, uh, let's put something at the beginning of the sentence so we could say so it turns it from a, a partial phrase into a full sentence and we'll just say es importante. It's important. So it's important to talk about that. Es importante hablar de eso. Es importante hablar de eso. Now, our regular subscribers will know that to turn this into a, a negative, to say it's not in important, it's not important to talk about that, we just start off with no, no. So how would you say it's not important to talk about that? No es importante hablar de eso. No es importante hablar de de eso. Okay, let's um, introduce two people. Um, we've met them before. Pablo and Maria. Pablo and Maria. How would we say it's important to talk about Pablo? What would that be? It's important to talk about Pablo. Es Importante hablar de Pablo. Es importante hablar de Pablo. How would we say? It's not important to talk about Maria. It's not important to talk about Maria. What would that be? No es importante Hablar de María. No es importante hablar de María. So, to talk or to speak about something or about a person. The word for to know, to know, is saber. Saber is to know. Saber. How would we say simply, it's important to know? Actually, let's change that and say, it's important to know that. How would we say that? It's important to know that. What would that be? Es importante saber eso. Es importante saber eso. It's important to know that. Es importante saber eso. How would we say, it's not important to know that? No es importante saber eso. No es importante saber eso. And how would we make a slight change to say, it's important to know about that? It's important to know about that. What would that be? Es importante saber de eso. Es importante saber de eso. So again, we're using de to mean about. To speak about that and to know about that. How would you say it's not important to know about that? 
It's not important to know about that. What would that be? No es importante saber de eso. No es importante saber de eso. And before moving on, I'll just mention the Pro Spanish Levels 1 to 6 course, which is available for download at prospanish.co.uk. And this takes the complete beginner or near beginner right up to a conversational level of Spanish in nice, easy steps. Okay, and so back to the lesson. In English, we could point at something and say, that is Pablo's. That is Pablo's. And that apostrophe S after Pablo shows that it belongs to Pablo. It's the a possessive apostrophe S. That is Pablo's. And in Spanish, the apostrophe S doesn't exist. So we have to say, that is of Pablo. To show the same meaning of it belonging. That is of Pablo. So how would you say, that is of Pablo? What would that sentence be? Eso es de Pablo. Eso es de Pablo. So, eso es de Pablo is the only way of saying that's Pablo's. That's, that is Pablo's. That belongs to Pablo. How would you say that isn't Maria's? That's not Maria's. What would that be? Eso no es de María. Eso no es de María. And how would we say, we've just said, that isn't Maria's. How would we just say, it's not Maria's? So without the that, it's not Maria's. What would that be? No es de María. No es de María. It's not Maria's. Okay, and what if we want to say Maria's handbag? Maria's handbag. In English, we have the possessive apostrophe S to show that it's Maria's handbag. And in Spanish, we have to say the handbag of Maria. The handbag of Maria is our only way of saying Maria's handbag the handbag of Maria. And the handbag, the handbag is el bolso, el bolso, the handbag, el bolso. So how would we say Maria's handbag? El bolso de Maria, el bolso de Maria. How would you say it's not Maria's handbag. It's not Maria's handbag. What would that be? No es el bolso de Maria. No es el bolso de Maria. How would we say Maria's bag is important? Maria's bag is important. What would that be? El bolso de María es importante. El bolso de María es importante. So, handbag is bolso, el bolso. The word for bag, bag in general, is la bolsa, la bolsa. So, it's just the feminine version of bolso. Bolso is handbag, and bag in general is bolsa. Bolsa. Th the bag is la. La bolsa. La bolsa. How would we say? It's Pablo's bag. It's Pablo's bag. What would that be? Es la bolsa de Pablo. Es la bolsa de Pablo. How would we say, it's not Pablo's bag, it's Maria's. 
It's not Pablo's bag. It's Maria's. And I'm emphasizing the apostrophe S on Maria so you remember what you need to do at the end there. So it's not Pablo's bag. It's Maria's. What would that be? No es la bolsa de Pablo. Es de María. No es la bolsa de Pablo. Es de María. And how would we say... Uh, that's a little fun sentence to make a nice long one. How would we say... It's important to talk about Pablo's bag. It's important to talk about Pablo's bag. What would that be? Es importante hablar de la bolsa de Pablo. Es importante hablar de la bolsa de Pablo. And obviously we wouldn't use, it's unlikely, we'll ever say that exact sentence. But the structure is useful to us. For example, it could be, it's important to talk about Pablo's sister. It's important to talk about Pablo's sister. Or I need to talk about Pablo's sister. The word for sister is hermana. Hermana. So la hermana the sister. So how would you say, it's important to talk about Pablo's sister? What would that be? It's important to talk about Pablo's sister. Es importante hablar de la hermana de Pablo. Es importante hablar de la hermana de Pablo. And we could say, instead of saying es importante, it's important, it might be useful to say we need. We need to talk about Pablo's sister. We need to talk about Pablo's sister. And we need is very easy to remember. It's necesitamos. Necesitamos. We need. Necesitamos. So how would you say we, know, we need to talk about, let's say, Maria's sister this time. We need to talk about Maria's sister. What would that be? Necesitamos hablar de la hermana de María. Necesitamos hablar de la hermana de María. So we've already seen a few ways that de is used in Spanish. Generally, it translates as of, although in English we phrase the sentences slightly differently. Now, de is also used to talk about the characteristics of something. So, for example, if something is made out of paper, for example, a paper aeroplane, it will be an aeroplane of paper. How would you say the paper bag, the paper bag? And the word for paper is papel, papel. So how would you say the paper bag? La bolsa de papel. La bolsa de papel. And if it's a paper bag as opposed to the paper bag, una bolsa de papel. Una bolsa de papel. A paper bag. How would you say, we just learnt before, we need. How would you say, we need a paper bag? We need a paper bag. What would that be? Necesitamos una bolsa de papel. Necesitamos una bolsa de papel. And bags can be made from other materials. Plástico. Plástico. How would you say, we don't need a plastic bag? What would that be? No necesitamos una bolsa de plástico. 
No necesitamos una bolsa de plástico. And obviously, we could go through all the different materials, but this is how we talk about the characteristics by saying it's a bag of paper or of plastic. And the same applies to say where something or somebody is from. Pablo is from Spain. Spain is España. We're talking about the characteristic of where he's from. How would you say Pablo is from Spain? What would that be? Pablo es de España. Pablo es de España. How would you say Maria isn't from Madrid? Maria isn't from Madrid. What would that be? Maria no es de Madrid. Maria no es de Madrid. So, fairly straightforward, using de to say, to talk about the characteristics of something, what it's made from or where it's from. And now we'll turn to some very common verb phrases which have de in them. And these don't really translate well into English, but they're very useful expressions. So, for example, to stop doing something, to stop doing something, is dejar de. Dejar de. So, for example, to stop talking, to stop talking, is dejar de hablar. Dejar de hablar. Now, we can translate this a little bit, literally, which might make some sense, and we might be able to see how the de works here. So, we can say to stop talking, but dejar also means to leave. So, we could look at this phrase as being to leave off doing something, and the de here meaning off. So, dejar de hablar, to stop talking, or to leave off talking. That's one way of looking at it or remembering it. How do we say, we need to stop talking? What would that be? We need to stop talking. Necesitamos dejar de hablar. Necesitamos dejar de hablar. How would we say, we need to stop talking about Maria? We need to stop talking about Maria. What would that be? Necesitamos dejar de hablar de Maria. Necesitamos dejar de hablar de Maria. The word for to smoke is fumar. Fumar, to smoke, fumar. How would you say, it's important to stop smoking, or it's important to leave off smoking? What would that be? Es importante dejar de fumar. Es importante dejar de fumar. Another phrase that uses a very common phrase that uses de is when we say depend on something. So to depend on something, it depends on. In Spanish, they don't say it depends on, they say it depends of something. So they use de. So it depends on, it depends of in Spanish is Depende de. Depende de. So, depende de, it depends of, or in English, it depends on. How do we say, it depends on Pablo? It depends on Pablo. What would that be? Depende de Pablo. Depende de Pablo. How would we say, it depends on Maria's sister. 
It depends on Maria's sister. What would that be? Depende de la hermana de Maria. Depende de la hermana de Maria. In other words, it depends of the sister of Maria. It's kind of how it works out. And that concludes today's pro-Spanish lesson. As mentioned before, if you're serious about becoming a conversational speaker of Spanish, then head over to prospanish.co.uk where you can download the full Levels 1 to 6 course.